In this tutorial, we're going to go back to our balance scale and we're going to try some scale balancing challenges. So see if you can figure these puzzles out. Let's consider this first situation. Four blocks on the left, a goat and a block on the right. They're on a balance scale and the scale is balanced. So how much does this goat weigh in blocks? Can you think of the answer? Well, let's see if we can think of a nice method to prove that we know how much this goat weighs. Well, we know how a balance works. If we remove something from one side and then remove the same amount from the other side, it's still going to be balanced, right? So why don't we remove a block from each side? And it's still balanced. And it's a simpler puzzle now. In fact, the result shows us clearly that the goat is equal to three blocks. Now, if we made it into an equation, it would have looked like this. Four on the one side, and an equal in the middle, and one on the other side, and a goat on the other side. And we removed or subtracted the one from both sides. And in the end, we're left with the goat by itself, and Three. Let's try a tougher one. Consider this scale balance situation. It's more challenging indeed. Again, how much does the goat weigh in blocks? Can you think of the answer? Let's use our methods of simplifying this situation. If we remove blocks from one side and the other, we can still keep everything balanced. In this case, we have two blocks that we could remove on the left. And there's lots of blocks on the right, so removing two should work fine. Okay, so that's better. What else can we do? Thinking about balance scales again, if we divide one side in half and divide the other side in half, they're still balanced. So, two goats divided by two is one goat or half of two goats is one goat. And on the right, six blocks divided by two, well, half of six is three, so we're left with three blocks. And it's still balanced. And it's a much simpler puzzle. In fact, the result on the scale shows us clearly that the goat is equal to three blocks. And this confirms our earlier finding. Now, if we had made an equation to represent this situation, it would have started like this. Two blocks and a goat and another goat on this one side and an equal sign in the middle and eight blocks on the other side. Now, we removed or subtracted two blocks from both sides and then we divided by two and in the end, we were left with a goat all by itself. Let's try an even tougher one. Consider this one. Now we have chickens. So the question is, how much does a chicken weigh in blocks? Can you think of the answer? Feel free to pause if you want to give this a try. Let's use our methods of simplifying the situation. Well, there aren't any blocks to remove from the left, so we'll skip that idea. But we do know that a goat weighs the same as three blocks. So if we removed a goat from the left side, we could remove three blocks from the right side and keep it balanced. Now we're left with two chickens on the left. In the most simplified version, we want only one chicken on the left. And we think back to our ability to divide both sides in half. So two chickens divided by two is one chicken. And on the right, two blocks divided by two is one block. It's still balanced. And it's a much simpler puzzle. And in fact, the scale result shows us that a chicken is equal to one block. Had we made an equation to represent this situation, it would have looked like this. Two chickens plus a goat is equal to five blocks. Now we had to remove or subtract a goat from the left and its equivalent three blocks from the right. And it was still balanced. And then we divided by two. And in the end, we're left with the chicken by itself on the left and a one on the right. Totally simplified. 
Let's go for an even tougher one. We have the whole farm here on the scale. The goats climbing on the blocks and the chickens are landing on everything. So, the question is, how much does a pig weigh in blocks? Can you think of the answer? Pause if you want to give this a try. Let's use our methods of simplifying the situation. What can we do to get the pig by itself on the left side and still keep everything balanced? First, we notice that we have a chicken on each side. So removing one chicken on each side is easy and it definitely keeps us balanced. I guess we can look after that third chicken next. We recall that each chicken is equal to one block. So if we remove the chicken on the left and one block on the right, we'll still be balanced. Now, it's looking simpler and we're getting closer to having the pig by itself. What if we got rid of the goat next? We recall that the goat is the same as three blocks. So we'll remove the goat on the left and three blocks on the right and we're still balanced. Getting closer. We only have to remove the last two blocks on the left and that's easy as there are lots of blocks available to remove on the right. So we remove two on the left and two on the right and we're still balanced. And here we are. The pig is by himself on the left and we have two blocks on the right. So a pig is clearly equal to two blocks. That was a tough one. Now if we had made an equation to represent this situation, it would have looked like this. Two blocks plus two chickens, a goat and a pig is equal to eight blocks and a chicken. We removed or subtracted a chicken from each side, then another chicken from the left and a block from the right, the equivalent, then a goat from the left and three blocks on the right, again equivalent, and then finally we just had to get rid of the last two blocks on the left and right, and in the end we kept everything balanced and we got the pig by itself on the left with two blocks on the right. A nice proof.